Interesting matchup to say the least. Both are funny characters with a lot of funny things going on. It's a shame we don't have Wacky's hat anymore, though. We don't have the Lilac till. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about that. Three, two, one, go! So we're already seeing uh, oh, Game oh, & Watch. Oh, 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 oh. Already, already seeing Game & Watch being a little oppressive. With the with the chef and so on. Oh, more chef. This is making them all kinds of breakfast. Oh yeah. See if Dixter can complete off this grab. Oh, oh, oh. And we're seeing the ledge trapping already trying to come out, but we're not gonna see it completed. Now Nether plays an honest game watch, not too campy. I'm saying that as as I, he's being camped with Chef. Yeah, you know, that's how it goes. Something something commentated. Oh, we got the board out. It's okay though, DDD's a hungry boy. It's true. It, it certainly an advantage to be uh, thick against a game watch. But being large is a disadvantage. He is getting greedy with those boundaries. Oh, oh, oh there's nine. the nine. Okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna probably see a reset uh, judge. And, oh, there we go. There we go. there's Game. the spit out Gordo tick stock. Game watch now down one stock versus the BDD. And now we're gonna see him camp for the rest of the game. Which one? Both. A little bit of matchup experience. Dexter likes to play really, really, really safe. Though. So and, this will be interesting. And we're seeing, we're seeing Game & Watch use up B as an out-of-shield option for his opponent. It's that good. Or we're talking about Game & Watch making more fresh than that throws him off now. It'll technically even if Nether just takes this. Stop it. Doesn't want to find it. Back to zeros, and there's the ball. This ledge trap with those down is not working out for Dixter. He's got to find a different plan to keep Game & Watch at bay. Although, going off stage against Game & Watch is uh, not a good idea. You do want to keep him off stage. Right. To be fair, oh, 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 the double big, big parries. To be fair, King DDD has a lot of options with regards to ledge trapping. And other options with Gordo to keep uh, everything in check. Yeah. But just throwing a Gordo out at full tilt and then ho holding down B is not working out for this. We're looking at a Skittle Shield. Apparently, has any shield left. Uh, that'll be fun with Gordo. Uh, out of the Dixter, the DDD. Alex, even. Oh, double reflex. You see down smash, just send him off stage. Reflecting the Gordo. Can you get it? No. Nope. He hits the shield this time instead of whipping entirely. There's a lot of damage by his shield. Let's see if he can take the stock out. Meanwhile, he was like 49 on this time. And that move is still frame 3 out of shield. I, I am not a very large fan of it, but you know. And we're gonna see it work with that armor. Finally working out for Dexter. We need to now up the stock, but it's still a very, very close game. Indeed. And we see that forward air landing, but not killing, because DDD is a big guy. Not able to make those back airs. We, we see him hanging on, even though he's getting thrown around all over the place. Apparently, he's still left, but DDD has to do something. That key's gonna, oh, take him all the way to the top, not quite taking the stock out. Playing the ledge game very well, DDD. The recoveries have been on point, not getting gimped once so far. Crazy. And there's that chef coming in all the way up at 203%. We're seeing an opening for. Oh, oh, the down B, the down B. Oh. That frame one turnaround could have uh, saved that, but not quite. Uh, I think this set, maybe not this game, considering it's pretty close to over. Especially with Dixter holding on to this second stock. And another ledge trap situation where the down B works out again. And oh, there's the forward smash. Uh, it's not gonna, not gonna work out. 
considering Bucket is a reflector. But now he's in a great position to finish out this game. Exactly. You see, oh, not quite. Chef's gonna interrupt our down B right there. A big, big parry into forward tilt. Oh! Kills him with the down B. That is a lot of down Bs to hit. Sixter taking a game one. Oh no. If I was Game & Watch, I would want to take us to a huge stage where I can retreat wherever I want. I don't think that one's legal to pick, but... That's true. <laughs> Wait, it looks like, looks like Nether's picking small battlefield. Which is, uh, not, not quite what I suggested, but maybe, maybe he knows something I don't. We have some complaints coming from Bigster. Uh, there's no Galeen. We, could, uh, we could set up another switch. We, 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 whatever our players need. The Pearson setup has not finished. Uh, no it costs two bucks, eh? Hey. Alright, looks like we're going to small battlefield and we'll see if the characters stay the same. Looks like we still have a King DDD Game and Watch. TDD, Mr. Game and Watch. Oh, there's a switch in there. Fixture is still complaining about the choice of music. No, we can't hear it. Uh, you guys at home can hear it. Three, two, one, go! Regardless, instead of being a triplat, this is a duplat. And it's the smallest one in uh, the legal stage list for du dual plats. I think the DDD is definitely had the advantage here. Certainly. Uh, the more you can control the stage that, that Human Watch has. Access to and that goodness. oh my god like, down B coming in Dexter just the the and around. We're seeing the ledge trapping come in once again with a down throw into Gordo that was set up perfectly by Dexter. Gordo once again hitting and we're seeing an incredibly right dominant right, first right, stop. It's not over yet. Set the right one. And there you go. It's fine. Right, they were asking about an extra controller. Oh. This is Regardless of such, we see that Dixter has taken the first stock against Nether, giving him a large advantage, especially in this matchup now that he's up 1 to 0. Here's the thing what percentage Dixter gets? What powerful he feels. So, he was at 200 last game before he was able to get the kill. He's still looking at Look at the concentration Dixter does. Ready to go. Ready to go. And we see the. The reflection on the chef. So Perfectly, hungry. and it hits! He's just so hungry. He's eating up those sausage links like they're nothing. And we're seeing running into shield into down tilt. He has plenty of room to work with. And we're seeing Gordo beat out anyone. Now Dixer's up at full stock. Standing on stage is Luffy, but not coming out on the negative end of it. Looks like another control though. I, I have faith in, the, in our boy hitting a 9. If he was at lower percent, I thought he would have gone for the dunk or not. I think for the deuce deuce instead. True. We're seeing another. Ooh, uh, recover high. Take some dash dancing. Dash attacking into dash dancing. Looks like recovering high is not the answer against game uh, against uh, Dixter. Maybe another can figure something out, even though he's down to two. He's just been, he's just been downloading. Okay. He got the download at this point. He must. All right, Dave. The great. I hope you have a good night. Keep being great. We all know that Dixter is hydrated. Proof. Game and Watch, wake up. I, I told you, he going to wake up at some point. Now here's where the night happens. There we go on the stage. Can we get the going? Keep it You see the chef coming out to keep pressure on. Up, 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 up. Oh my goodness. Up there, up there, up there. Who combo if you're online? Well, if you the armor and through that forward air, most characters would not have made it out unscathed on that one. About three frames and just that hammer. <laughs> 
lot of pressure options on the shield, but it's not gonna let up the mixture. Back throw sending him off stage, bad position. Never want to be back off stage against the Indeedee. Back throw, not gonna do it. Oh! Oh! not to go for up air. We've seen those apologetic up airs after that whip. Oh! Getting hit by that Gordo even though he's back airing it. I think that Gordo just saved his life. That DDD was second. He wants a fourth. True. The old, the old, they're off stage in that one frame turnaround coming in clutch to take. That is our third hammering match. Two stock to end the set. We have Fixter taking two.